To enable Google login in Expo Firebase, go to Firebase console, create or select your project. If you don't see the authentication option here, select all products and find it there. Go to authentication and click to sign in method and enable Google login. Select your support email and uh, don't worry about the SHA fingerprint for now. Also, don't forget to re-download or download Google service file for your app because there will be additional configuration since you enable the Google login. When setting up your web app with Google services like Firebase Authentication, you deal with OAuth client settings. And when you enable the web app, Google already created an OAuth client ID that is tied to your Firebase project. To find it, go to Google Cloud Console, Credentials. This is the generated client ID. If you click on the web client, you will notice two key fields you might want to configure or further set. This is set by default. For the authorized JavaScript origins, these are the URLs where your frontend is allowed to run. They are needed for security during go out sign-in, like Google sign-in that we just enabled. And if the URL isn't listed here, the sign-in flow will be blocked. And during development, Firebase adds localhost and uh, similar. I suppose you might want to erase this for production use. As for authorized redirect URLs, these are the URLs that all out service can redirect the users to after they sign in. Firebase handles this automatically most of the time, so you usually don't need to edit anything unless you're doing some custom out uh, things. So in short, origins, where requests start from, redirect URLs, where user is sent back to after logging in. And now to the practical part, integrating Google login on the web. I have this code base that is publicly available on GitHub and I will share it in the description. I will skip the Firebase setup because I made another video integrating Firebase native along with the web. And in short, uh, this is what I call a uh, glue module. If the app is running on web, it calls the platform web platform specific module and if, if it's running on native it calls the firebase native to make out work uh, you have to initialize the app with the correct config all of the configuration for web is in the environment variables uh, why because the constants no longer work and uh, this is what's it, what it's needed to initialize the firebase along with the authentication feature and you set the environment in the .n file all of the configuration can be done Loaded by going to Firebase project settings and uh, look at the web client and you will get the JSON file and that's it. When Expo builds the app, it inlines all of the variables that start with the prefix Expo public and that's why you won't see if you try to inspect the process send, it just won't contain anything except node environment. After the app is initialized, you will set up the Firebase authentication just by calling the get out and uh, that's it, you now have access to the authentication features. And this is how the app looks on the web in the right screen and we'll go through the code in the left screen. Sign in with Google and here it is, here I have my session and if I refresh it will find me again and it does that, Firebase does that with the hook, special hook that is called on out state changed. The implementation is same on the web and on native and without it you have no way to check automatically when the apps starts, it also keeps your UI in sync if the user logs out from another tab or if the session expires. If we take a look at how Google Login looks like, Google Login is just a simple button that calls the use Google Login hook and that hook is different if it's web or if it is native. On the web it just calls the Firebase web function sign in with pop-up and when the pop-up finishes its thing, on out stage changed, hook will catch if the session changes. To get the SHA for your project for production, you need to know there are different SHAs per different environments. You need to set at least two SHAs, uh, one is for development and one is for production when the app is published. And it is a common reason why the Google login fails when it's on production. So to set it, go to test and release, setup, app signing. You will need to create a release. 
And I think you will need to publish it, I'm not sure. This is the app that has zero releases for now, but let's take a look at my other apps that are published. Once you get the release, you will copy the SHA-1 certificate fingerprint into these fingerprints. This solves the production issue. If you are using internal app sharing, there is a different SHA for that. To set up internal app sharing, you need to select your app, go to testing, test and release testing, internal app sharing, and I don't remember, I think I had to upload the release to get this screen to show, but manage testers and uploaders, uh, be sure to check this and select your testers. And last, you need to copy this certificate fingerprint, SHA-1, and also paste it in the Android settings of SHA fingerprints. And last is what we really need in development, is the EAS SHA, and to get it, you need to set up the EAS profile. I think it's just build configure. And most common one that you will see is the tree profile EAS JSON. This is the one that I usually, well, most of the time work in development and this contains a bundled expo dev cli development client. Preview is almost the same as production. It's the APK that you can install on your device or emulator and the production one contains the AAB. There are a couple of other dis differences, but never mind that. And now let's see about getting the ES SHA. You can get it with ES credentials and select platform and since we have three build profiles i will select one for the development okay this is what i get and this is what should be copied into that again let's return let's return to this setting and this is the only one that i will test this should work when you build the, the app for the development client but there's another sha there's a lot of shas there's another SHA when you want to run the Android native build. And why I'm running this, it's because I'm working from Windows for this tutorial and building the Expo development profile. Well, it won't work from Windows. I need to use the Ubuntu, so I'm too lazy. And let's try the run Android. And after a thousand years, I have my native build running on Android emulator, but it's not running because I forgot to set one thing. And while we're at it, it is slow on Windows, the native build, but it's extremely fast uh, compared to Windows uh, on macOS and also Ubuntu. And uh, I needed to set up uh, this uh, thing. I forgot to set the environment variable. It will not work in offline if this is not set. So let's set the environment dot m and the value of expo web client id is we looked at it before while we were setting the authentication go to sign in method click on google web sdk configuration and you need this value the web client id under web sdk configuration and let's retry again i need to completely exit when there's a change in the environment variables and here it is at least i can see the screen the sign in with google and it calls this native hook that uses react native firebase as i said this configure call is needed for the offline access and you need to set up the expo public web client id and i explained where to get it and since i also use the react native google sign in it is needed for the actual google sign in and this is why I need it for the pop-up to appear, but why I need Firebase, the session that I get with this Google login has to be assigned to the Firebase session. And how I do it? After the pop-up is done, like you signed in, pop-up closes, you will get the response. And in that response, you should get the ID token. From that, you can build the React Native Firebase Google credential and then do a programmatic sign-in with credential. From there on out stage changed, Firebase hook should kick in and set your user. So if I try the sign in with Google, this will not work on the emulator where you don't have the Play Store uh, installed and also the logged in with the Google account. And why this Android native build fails? Because the EAS 
SHA that I set in the project settings is not correct because this is a native build. And since this is a native build, I need the debug key store and it is located in the Android app directory. And I need to execute this command key store debug key store. Okay, pass for this, I think just Android. And this is the SHA that I need for my login to work on the development. I will refresh the app and try again. Sign in with Google, getting the pop-up. And finally it works. I have the user over here and I can just use the sign out. It is working with the React Native Firebase. And there you have it. I have a working Google login on native and on web. I've explained what's the tricky part when setting the React Native Firebase login. So let's repeat it. You need a separate SHA for the production. You will get it by logging into the Play Console and going to the app signing and copy the SHA one, set it to the project settings for the Android. When working with the Expo development client, so for instance, if you build the Expo development profile, there will be a different credential and you will need to run the EAS credentials, go to Keystore, download Keystore if I remember, copy the SHA. Then there's the third way, if you run the native build, so for example it was expo run android, this command, that will take ages to run on Windows, but finally it will run and you need to set up a separate SHA because this is completely different from the expo development profile and you will set it by going to android the app directory and running the key tool command. If you don't see the key tool, if it's not, command is not running and you have also the Java setup, you're probably missing the path setup, so the Java home slash bin directory and then you will see the key tool. Password for debug key store is Android and you will copy that SHA1 to the project settings. So at least you need three SHAs. And last, if for any case you are using internal app sharing, that is completely other SHA. I also explained where to find it. And uh, if I remember correctly, it will change on every APK release, or maybe not. I haven't used it for a while, but if you're using it and it's not working for some reason, maybe that's the case. And uh, this completes my Google login tutorial on the React Native and Web. And thank you for watching this video. For Pirate Base on Native, I use React Native Firebase and it's important to note and maybe you read it when you were implementing React Native Firebase. It does not work on Expo Go. Prerequisite for this example is to install React Native Google Sign-in and Firebase Out packages. One important configuration is to set your correct SHAs. 